this is a this is a quality channel. <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Gibbons vs Games unboxing. This episode will be Zombicide Green Horde, as you can probably see. My name's Riley Morse. I'm Damien Schneider. And we once again have our special guest, James. This was a Kickstarter that ended somewhere around April, May, June, middle, early middle, middle of last, last year. Yeah. Uh, this is, of course, the latest expansion for Zombicide. And if anyone's watched this on Kickstarter, watched the campaign go, it was quite interesting how they ran it. Yes. Which we'll get into during the game, during the video. But for yeah. now, let's get, 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 not get, get, destroy get, everything. Right. Cool. There wow. we go. If nice anyone's not familiar with Zombicide but has heard about this and wants to get into it, it's a standard sort of tile exploration miniatures game with zombies. Now, it's also. Zombicide is also a modern setting. If you want the fantasy setting as we're looking at, make sure you get Zombicide Black Plague. And then Wolfsburg is the second expansion, and then mm -hmm. Green Horde. Yeah, so Green Horde is also a standalone game, so you can play it without any of the others as well. There's something I did genuinely not know. Okay, yeah, yeah. We'll... All right. Um, cool. Scalpel, let's, go let's for it. get into this. Try not to absolutely destroy the box on the way as well, because we've got a really nice sort of finish to the box. Mm. Yeah, wow. look. I mean, it, it's the typical standard Zombicide beautiful art on the front. I mean, you can't yeah. really complain. You get a lot of boxes that are a bit like, eh. You're, this this you, box is not one of them. When you go to a game shop, you know where Zombicide is. Cool. So let's get oh, this. Right. That's that's quite nice. We we don't seem to have much, any sort of damage looking to the box no. at all, which is so good. shipping is great. This is of yep. course the Kickstarter edition. So for those that didn't follow the Kickstarter, Green Horde followed the single tier. Lots of stretch goal rewards that are just added to the box. So this will just be the base box for now. Further videos will come for all our extra goodies. Yeah, so um, as well as the base box, after the campaign ended, you could add on a whole lot of extra um, just components and things like that. Uh, we've got quite a few of them coming, which will be nice. Uh, but for now, they've just got the, uh, the base box done. Uh, and then we should be getting... Um, 120 characters, oh, yeah. lots of extra zombies, two zombie oh, dragons. They yeah. unlocked a, a giant lot. character. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I heard about that. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm look. stoked. Yep. Yep. It's right, going to be cool. amazing. Dun, dun, okay, dun, 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 no, open. it's a lot easier to open. I'm good on this yep. one. Dun, yep. dun, 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 Nice. Cool. Okay, so we've got a lot of really nice sort of artwork on the side. Again, just kind of introducing the characters and stuff like that. And we've got zombies um, over here as well. Yeah, so standard sort of thing that you'll see on... Um, uh, all of their boxes, just really nice artwork splashed everywhere. Yeah, they're, they're really nice. Yeah. For cool. the camera looking from the top. Yes. So, rule book. Rule book. Thick. Surprising actually for, uh, I guess it is a standalone game. Yeah. But yeah. for a sort of an exp... It has to go through all the base rules as well, so they yeah. do need that Yeah, and thickness. they've got all of the extra um, uh, missions and things like that. Uh, there's quite a few extra rules in here as well, so you've got things like hedges where you can move through them, but you don't draw a line of sight through them. For um, breakdown of components, we do get a trebuchet model, which is nice. Yeah. Didn't realise that came in the base game. So, uh, looks like as well, the uh, the trays are still the same as what you see in um, uh, Black Plague. That was one of my favourite things that I saw change between uh, like the modern day version and going into Black Plague. They brought out these awesome uh, And we'll trays. show you that, because they are just... More games should do stuff like this, because it just makes things so convenient. Yeah, so... So the rules layout is the standard, lots of images. Uh, lots of graphics to display things. I love the look of the bone knife already. I'm excited to see yep. the magic. They're vault items. Oh, wow. Ooh. That looks amazing. Yeah. So, we're going to say a lot of words that if you haven't played Zombicide, you probably won't know. We'll do our best to explain them. Because <laughs> yeah. we... This is pretty much our group's game. Right? This is this is what we play on our downtime between, like, Pathfinder campaigns. Yeah. So, uh, the really great thing that we generally find about Zombicide is that... Uh, it's an easy game to just kind of set up, have a bit of a bash for the night, and then just pack it up. Nothing carries over, so you don't necessarily need the same people every week, etc, mm. etc. Et and we've gotten to the point, we've played every mission, so we're just like, oh, what do we want to do? Oh, we'll just do Bloodbath, let's go. Yeah. That looks cool. Ten missions, as all the base game and the expansions, I believe, have. They all have ten quests, yeah. they're mm -hmm. called, sorry. Each with their layouts, special rules, special missions, etc, etc. 
which is fine. It looks like the full standard glossary of terms in the back for all the character upgrades and abilities. Looks to be maybe a bit expanded, so some new abilities, maybe. Oh, Courtney's going to like that one. Yeah, <laughs> I saw that on the side of the yeah. box. Yeah. Um, Call me or not, we love your games. Yes. Most of the time, we love your miniatures. Mm hmm. Good lord, please look at your rule books a bit more. <laughs> um, please. So, so it's something we, we don't know about this rule book. It might be something that they've um, touched up on uh, a little bit. Uh, but then again, um, like the rules themselves are quite easy to pick up. There's plenty of stuff online that go through playthroughs. We'll probably even have our own uh, as well that'll give you the kind of rundown. Um, and so it is easy enough to pick up and most people won't end up looking at the rules themselves. But It'd just be interesting to see uh, whether that's something that's changed in this version. And while we're still in the rulebook, it is interesting that the community has made their own missions as well. You can go on if you ever get bored, there's a lot of downloadable free missions. There's even campaigns where things do carry over. There's a lot you can do with this game. Let's get into it. A yeah. lot of A missions. lot. Yes. Okay, right. so, box in a box. Box in a box. good. Okay, yeah. so uh, that'll be models. So let's do yes. that. Oh, um, do we do the boring stuff? Uh, we'll, we'll do the that stuff, and then we'll get to the models, because, I mean, let's face it, this game's all about models, okay. and that's new. Yeah, what is this? Is that just packing that's material? placeholder? We'll, Don't we'll, know, we're, we'll we're move gonna on. find out. That's, yeah. that's different. Uh, in the past, these have been little card boxes. Scalpel! 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 Don't wreck my game. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, this is a mistake. Don't protect yourself with that, that's worth more than your arm. <laughs> oh, oh, good lord. So, standard token sheets. Um, lots of standard to uh, So this will be the boards as well. Yes. Oh, true. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the board tiles. Yeah. So, um, so let's side. get this out of the way. Works on a modular, double-sided board system. The maps will have specific layouts and rotations and sides. Each side is listed with a number value and a letter value. I don't know if that's going to be visible to the camera. But, for example, a mission will tell you to have 20V19, I think it's R on the other side, yep. And, you know, it'll tell you to set it up in a specific way. Then you'll chuck tokens down on it. So, it's a lot greener than the others. A lot more hedge. Yeah, so it's, it's more blood. More blood? Yeah, more blood. Lot of blood. Wow. That's, that's some blood. It's typically That's before we die in it. Right. <laughs> it's typically beautiful fantasy art. Yeah. Look, I mean, it, it's fairly standard stuff. It's their typical high quality, easily defined borders of tiles. Yeah. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Lighting, shadow, yeah, it's, yep. it's fine. It's, it's Great. what we've come to expect from this series. Hmm. And it's good density cardboard. Again, it's that oh, sort yeah. of 2.5, mm -hmm. 2.5, 3? Uh, probably 2.5. 2.5. Do 2.5, something like that. I will yes. find a game with 3 mil cardboard one day, Damien. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, all, the, yeah, all the arts are very nice. You can just sit here looking at it. Are there new tokens? <laughs> yep. We've got Necromancer spawn point tokens, which are... They, are they're different dimensions to the other ones, are they? Mm, or is it I just don't, because No, I don't deep? think so. Um, I think that they're different, dim different dimensions. Dimensions? Well, it's possible they're also not maybe... Green um, necromancer tokens. There may be just green horde tokens or whatever yeah, exists. Just something there. to help distinguish them from what's previously there. But uh, we'll definitely get into this in the games and stuff like We've that. We've got well. standard door tokens, which yep. you'll place down on tiles. Your blue and green special doors, hedges. Never seen that before. You also yep. got the spikes anything... on the other yeah, side of them. Spikes. Yeah. So um, I believe how it works. One of them blocks uh, line of sight, and one of them blocks movement. So you can move okay. through the hedges. Um, but you can right, see through the okay. spikes, but can't move I wonder if there's them. some ability to like set that up on a character. I wonder if that's an ability, maybe. Because that could be interesting. Be like, um, oh, drop that in the streets, the zombies now have to go around, or take some damage or something. No mm. idea what that is. No idea what that is. That is your first player turn token. Yep. These are the least used tokens ever created. <laughs> <laughs> They're sound like tokens, wrong. and it's really just easy to manage that in your head. Mm. Uh, uh, you've also got different. your dragon bile tokens and, here, which right. are another token that we don't end up using a whole lot just because we end up uh, on these ones. doing nice. it all in um, one turn all the time. So. Yeah. Um, so look, yeah. again, it's fairly standard. We've got four, three types of new tokens. It would help if I could math. Yeah. 
So, yeah, that's standard. I'm yep. perfectly happy with that. Yep, no, that... Now, can we please get to the interesting bit? Yes. Come on. <laughs> Come on. We will, we will, we will, we will. We will. Oh, we will. Oh, give me some character cards. Give me some models. Okay. Let's get now this Now, we're going to open this up this way because... No! <laughs> okay, it's on the camera. Stop destroying the table. <laughs> <laughs> Do what I want. Okay, so, James, you ready for this? Yeah. No. For this? Let's go. Hey. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's get this out of the way. Let's let's have a look. Let's, let's open that down. Oh, all right, immediately. Wow. Just oh my god. Wow. <laughs> immediately. Just that, like, yeah. That, that is really solid. Let me see. Doesn't quite. Mm. It doesn't move, but I, I I still like it. That's that's quite nice. We've got our trebuchet there, and I mean we've got we've got really nice detail. Um, mm. Uh, however, Cool Mini is doing their models. They've got a really nice balance between uh, like the soft and firm plastic, uh, so that you get really nice detail um, and not. Um, so, I mean, comparing these straight up to um, uh, Gloomhaven, at least these two that I'm looking at here, uh, we are getting more detail and less flash, um, so less mold lines and things like that as well. Just. The quality of their models, the details they fit in really quite small things, it's just great. The scarring, mm. the bones within flesh, the abomination Ooh. is really cool. Oh, that is nice. Because the basic abomination is kind of dopey looking. The wolf abomination is amazing. Yeah. And that's probably my favourite. I hope it's harder to kill than the other abominations. So they've got, it looks like they've got different, the, an orc version of every basic type. So there are yeah. three basic types of zombies. You've got... Walkers, runners, and fatties. So we've got a fatty. We got probably a walker. The runners are the goblins. Yeah, yeah runners are goblin-y looking things. Okay, yeah. cool. And we've got our six characters. So, rules cards. Yep. Right, no, hold on. Pick a model you like the look of. Yes, I have Rolf. Rolfy boy. Um, I have big guy with the crossbow. Ah, uh, Johannes. Johannes. Okay. I have Selly. So, for anyone who has not seen a Zombicide character card before, your abilities correspond with which level of the flames of your damage track you are in. Each one you will fill with a peg, you'll pick an ability that will upgrade your character, making them basically overpowered, because this game is kind of difficult in the early level or two. It can get quite easy. Just, Green Horde could change this and we're hoping it does. So, I have Bloodlust Melee, Standard additional action, then I've got lots of free actions and Battle Rage. Have we seen Battle Rage before? Um, I don't think so. No, I think Battle Rage might be new. Might be something for you, because you've got your Bloodlust Melee. So, talking to someone off camera is probably not the thing I should be doing. <laughs> we have our resident butcher behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I don't think I've seen this on previous characters. Getting okay. plus one to your max range as well. No, oh. that's that's. That's oh, new. Wait, uh, no. Does the elven guy have that? No, or, no that's no, just I've, eagle. I've used Silas a whole lot. Okay. Um, you know he's played it too much when he can do that. Battle yeah. Battle rage. Battle rage. Battle rage. The survivor gains an extra dice to roll for subsequent melee attack actions when they kill at least one zombie with a melee action. The bonus is cumulative. So, you make four attacks in a turn, and if you kill in all four, your fifth attack is getting five extra dice. Uh, on plus, top of Bloodlust Melee. Plus your free melee action. <laughs> well, we found the new Horde Killer. Yep. So, um, bye, Morrigan. <laughs> um, this guy actually looks quite interesting. So, you've got more of your auxiliary sort of person. So, we've got Transmutation, which... I believe if you if it's working the same sort of way as the spell did, you'll be able to change items over. Mm-hmm. Um, and you're gawking at something. I just love the look of this character. Okay. So yeah, so being able to transmute items really early on is going to be really handy, uh, I think. And then you can choose whether to go for... Uh, oh no, no, he is very much a ranged character on all of this stuff. Okay. Cool. And what I'm do just, you have, James? Uh, Sally. She can jump as a basic ability. Cool. <laughs> It's hard to jump. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's not yeah, it's something thing. you need to be yeah, trained at. Yeah, stand plus one action, <laughs> and then you got Look. free melee and hit and run. Okay, um, yeah, cool. And then free what? move, roll six plus one die combat. 
and okay. Zombie Link. I don't. I, do zombie, zombie oh, <laughs> zombie now this is my area of expertise. Rodney has Zombie Link. Every time something gets an extra action, say you've got all your walkers out, they get an extra action. Rodney will also get a full activation, Ooh. I believe. Mm. Um, yeah, so she's just be a, a standard action. A standard action. Yeah. yeah, but she's just like a slim elf chick with blades. That seems pretty sick. Yeah, yeah, sounds good to me. This is Megan. Yep. Hi Megan. Hi Megan. Megan has double casting as her basic ability. Whenever she enchants something with like invisibility or speed, mm -hmm. she picks another target and does it for free. Well, that's <laughs> that's kind along of with get spellbook at orange instead of red, which is most people's. Okay, so uh, she's your premier enhancement caster. Good lord! So she's a buffer. She's a mm. jump. Sorry, I jump, don't jump, know jump, 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 jump. Does jump around. Jump around. Jump up and down. Jump up, jump up, jump up. Get down. Alright. The survivor can use this skill once during each of their turns. The survivor spends one action. They move two zones into a zone to which they have line of sight. So it's just Movement there. penalties are in the starting zone are ignored. Oh no. No, they apply. I'm done. Okay. Yeah, so it's just um, uh, do one double move as um, a single action. Isn't yeah. that worse than sprint though? I think so. There's possibly a purpose to it. Um, yeah, so I think uh, sprint you may need to be clear of all zombies. I'm not sure what... Um, hmm. Don't know. Look, yep. again, this is... Uh, we're we're, we're just out. looking through it. <laughs> yeah. So, look, I mean... Oh, it's all your equipment. No, that's zombie stack. Do you want another? No, it's equipment thing as well. Is he did one? Ooh. Cool. No, uh, uh, we probably don't need to no, go through. No, we don't need to go through the code. So, yes. art, art is the standard sort of a cross between comical and realistic. Yeah, yeah quite. Yes. Everyone's quite enthusiastic about the art of butchering, and so we've got six characters. Another hundred odd are coming. Yeah, yeah. That'll be nice. Yeah, oh, just how? How? How do you have that many permutations <laughs> of abilities? Exactly. <laughs> Like, you've got to have one that's the same, like, things, just with, like, a different looking... We have new starting equipment. As for in, the like, first different. time, like, starting equipment. So, short swords. So, starting equipment is you distribute it as you please. For two expansions now, we've had exactly the same starting equipment. Hammers, swords, short bows, and kinetic blasts. Uh, mana blasts. Mana blasts. Thank you. Not particularly exciting stuff. we got short swords, so that's boring. Spiked bow for you, Kin telekinetic blast for you, and a Norse sword for me. So these look like upgrades on the starting stuff. So uh, this looks like the Norse sword gets more powerful if we go and find another item called the Norse shield. Yep. So what's telekinetic blast? What's the vague um, change on that? Uh, so it looks. Uh, so spend an action, open a door within range and line of sight. Oh my god! That's, oh. that's, that's, that's amazing. So I need that on Rodney because Rodney can never open doors. One of the hardest things to do is invariably the first character, first action, first character has to go and open a door. They will invariably fail all three attempts. Yes. Um, that's... And usually magic casters don't have an option unless they've no. also got some sort of weapon. Only them. melee weapons can do it. Can't do it with a bow, can't do it with and magic. And this can do it from range. For free, without yes. a roll. Yep. That's incredible. So it just opens it. So that's the best item of the set. <laughs> What's the vague change over there? It's it's, it's just oh, it's a bow with a with the ability to use in melee. Yeah. Okay. So, it's, so essentially, you can use it in melee, and you can, can use punch it people bad. with yeah. it. Yeah. Spike. And smack someone in the face. So here we have it's our pretty... vault weapons. Vault weapons are magical weapons that you are able to access v very early on, compared to a lot of other magic weapons. Uh, depending on how early you go after them. Yep. We generally like going after them because they're good. Yeah, and these looking... And at the moment, there's two. Or f no, no, there's no, like we've, six now. We've got more now because uh, we've gotten a couple of expansions with more weapons. Right. But we've basically doubled the collection with a further six. Typical beautiful art for their weapons. So we unboxed Gloomhaven the other day. Yeah. You'll remember. Mm -hmm. uh, may and be in the back of your memory. <laughs> Again, the art in this is just more noticeable. It's a bit larger on these cards. Yeah. Um, 
Like, I mean, it, it doesn't necessarily seem larger on the on the page. It's just like it fits the area a little bit better. Yeah, yeah. Yep. They they fill space a bit better with it. Was the well, Zombie Side have a really nice thing when they make their weapons is the abilities of the weapon to show the stats of the weapon is very small and discreet like was Gloomhaven actually, if Gloomhaven had more text then it would have been harder to fit actually yes yeah. so I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm looking at, at this card here where you do have a bit of extra text uh, and so the oh, image right. is smaller uh, and so that's what I was comparing to but no yes so you do definitely have larger bits of art um, on some of the other cards oh that looks cool yep war cleaver <laughs> that looks incredible. That's just a cool looking weapon. That's very nice. Yeah. Would you say they're thicker than Gloomhaven's item cards? I don't know. I don't think so. Don't think I, so? I, I think you're just tripping. I think you think <laughs> I'm tripping? I think it's, I think, it's, I think, I think, I think it's the same thing with the character things. Right? Yeah, I think it's, yeah. It's just <laughs> new plastic. Ah, mm. <laughs> oh, new cardboard smell. Lovely. Cool. No, All right. That's, that's cool. Where, where are the. So what else are we, we've, so there's a trebuchet cut, that's, that's, Lovely. that's nice. Um, so that's just, looks like it's just a bit of a, a cheat sheet for the trebuchet. Yep. Um, there may be others in here, but I don't know. Um, that's nice. We've got all our ARG cards early on. <laughs> um, let's, uh, but they're going to have to be shuffled in, so. Then we have our standard items, which can be just as magical as vault items, but they generally have higher requirements to use. Yep. Um, so we do have a couple of standard things, so chainmail armor, as we've seen previously. Curved dagger, that looks different. Yeah, some of I, the I, characters I, are starting there. This slot can have a curved dagger. Okay, interesting. Um, so, but this just looks like an aesthetic change to me. Um, so it's plus one dice to another equipped melee weapon, um, which I believe is the same as what a um, normal dagger is. Yeah. Just to, yeah. Yeah. So it's just aesthetic difference. Um, a little bit disappointing, maybe. I'd prefer to see some actual meteor change, maybe. Yes, yeah, new new stuff that you haven't yeah, seen exactly. before. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Who wants a reskin? Um, our Death Gale. This is new. It's it's a high damage sort of spell. We won't go too much into detail here. We'll bring this up more when we. Oh, that's that's different. I think that was one. Well, that's at. that's a dwarven um, hammer. Yeah. Oh. Um, so we'll, we'll go into more detail with this. Yeah, the uh, dwarf as, dude as can we, have that in the uh, slot. Play it through. Um, and I'm a falchion. I imagine underneath falchion. We'll, have a, we'll have a standard zombie deck. No, or is this just items? Uh, I, I oh no, assume. here we go, here we go, here we go. What, what is... What, what is These this? are new. Can you have a look oh, at that, please? That's... That is very, that is very different. There's another one. Ah, uh, so it looks like we've... Ah, uh, these are... These are the special cards. So this is uh, the big sort of difference with... Um, the mechanics in Green Horde, you've got these Enter the Horde cards. So, all zombie miniatures contained in the Horde spawn in the zone. These have pluses on them, so is that the Horde? Ah uh, yes, that's adding to the Horde. Right. Huh. So will base cards not add to the Horde? No, no. So this is, this is something where I'm wondering if you mix them too much, um, are you going to get some... Diluted uh, effect. Yeah, some skewing in it. So, so maybe you go around and you mix like half and half and half because that's quite a thin pile. Yeah. So well, maybe you pick. I mean, if we're looking for a really difficult game, just chuck Wolfsburg in there and. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and just go to town. <laughs> and just have some dogs running after us as well as the orcs. That that Ooh. would be a little bit scary. And the crows. <clears throat> and the crows? And the, and the crows, yeah. yeah. The crows, yeah. It, it's getting to the point where you may choose to leave out like the base game because the base game's zombie cards this is effectively an AI system for spawning zombies and moving them if you've run out which we're not going to do anytime soon I don't know we get end up with a lot of stuff on the table oh we can't leave the base game stuff out because this is all specifically orc stuff so we can't leave the Wolfsburg stuff out can we um the base game stuff out can we I don't know. It's yeah. something to work out later yeah. down the We're, track. But it might be an idea to not use all the cards at this point. Because there's a lot of them. Yeah. Especially with more mo miniatures coming and monsters. Yeah. And so so we're, we're going to have a bit of a, a bash of these and find all that sort of stuff out. The game yes. uses a coloured pip system and a coloured tile system. In terms of keeping track of characters, we've got some standard dice, which are exactly the same as what we've seen before. 
Um, but and we've got some gorgeous models. Yeah. And some gorgeous, gorgeous models. Other than that, I think we're just seeing layer upon layer of yeah, more just the models. Same thing we had up there. We've got packing instructions on the side, which is very nice to see. Okay, well, well look, I think that's about it. Let's yeah. just do some summarizing. Art, is it up to the usual standard? Yeah, I, I really like the style. It's got that yeah, uh, real sort of flavorful look to it. Yeah. Um, it's very zombie just style. Your, yeah, rather than just your generic sort of fantasy um, style thing. Yeah, it's not just people standing there looking sort of almost like at the camera. Mm. It, they're very animated. The art designs are very nice. Um, yeah, it's gorgeous. The, co the color palette's beautiful. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I think that's what makes it stand out a little bit more on the cards compared to something like Gloomhaven. Um, like I, I know that... Gloomhaven's gorgeous. Um, and, and it does have a very sort of particular colour palette, but in terms of small images and stuff like that, this just kind of pops from the, yep. um, the image a bit more. Miniatures, as good as always? Oh, yeah. yeah. Comparing them to the Black Plague box, uh, the I think these have got far more detail in them. That may yeah. be because the models themselves are bigger, and so they can do that. There's more detail than I expected to see yeah. on... I love that cloak. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, the, that's, that's that's that, that, as, as well, the dynamicness yeah. of the models yeah. is mm. something that's just always really, really and, nice. and it is improving from the original Black Plague too, because some of the zombies there can be quite static, and these look quite interesting for the most part. Yeah, especially the little goblin runners. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're gonna move. Yeah, they, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna end all. Hundred percent. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I'm staring at my death. Not him. <laughs> Not him. Not him, not the necromancer. That's gonna get me. This has been Zombicide Green Horde. We're probably gonna turn the cameras off and go play this. Yeah, yeah. I'm, really? I'm, I'm stoked. I'm <laughs> yeah, stoked. Yeah, I'm yeah. keen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. I mean, yeah, pizza. Pizza. Green Horde. Green, Green Horde. Horde. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll come back after three, four, ten playthroughs. And we'll give you a proper review <laughs> and um, a playthrough, playthrough video. Well. Yeah, mm. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you, guys. I have been Riley Morse. I'm Damien. No, I'm James. This has been Gibbons vs. Games. We'll see you next time. Cheers.